1212 This is not necessarily for publication This one here is rated R Restricted The reason it's rated R Because what we about to bring out Is an offense to the entire world But that's not new Because to bring out the gospel And the truth about Christ Is to offend the entire world The church system as we know it today Is a farce and a lie Islam as we know it today Is a farce and a lie these things have nothing to do with Christ, nothing to do with the King of the Jews, nothing to do with Israel, nothing to do with God, nothing to do with the Savior. The church is filled with a bunch of Sadducees and Pharisees, money-grubbing gangster thieves that need to be removed from their seat as Christ prescribed in the Bible. And that's why it's important for us to know that these churches, all these churches and religions are teaching lies, man. The entire so-called Christian churches are teaching lies. Islam is a lie. All these religions are lies, and they stop us from knowing who we really are, and that stops us from following the Bible, man. The church is teaching us that the religion, our laws are done away with. They're teaching us that the laws are done away with. That's why all our women can go sit up in the church on Sunday, go on Monday, on Wednesday, different days, have Bible study, come out and be the biggest freaks there. Shalom Israel. This is Officer Shawaria Allah of the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, the home of the truth. And today we're going to be uh, breaking down some more scriptures, crushing these lies. And uh, today's topic we're going to be bringing out in the scripture your uh, neighborhood Christian church. All right. It's talked about in the scripture. And how we're going to be bringing it out today is on this uh, issue of the law. And of course, everyone knows that, you know, the Christian church has a big beef with the, the word and the truth of the most high and saying that you need to follow the laws. They'll tell you that the, the, the law of Moses is done away with, that you saved by grace. And if you keep in the law, Creflo Dollar says that you are not receiving this grace by following the law of the Lord. So basically, I guess you're supposed to just break the law so that you can get this grace, man. And Paul talks about it all through that. We ain't going to go too deep into it, but I want to bring out a couple scriptures and uh, the first one we're going to start off in uh first john chapter 5 and verse 3 all right all right first john chapter 5 verse 3 says for this is the love of god that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous okay and so your Christian pastor tell them about how they love the church and they love everybody and everything. They do not love the most high according to the Bible that they're reading out of. According to the Bible, if you love the Lord, you will keep his commandments, right? Okay, what are the Lord's commandments? Is it just the Ten Commandments? Is it just thou shalt not steal, murder, uh, 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 <laughs> covet thy neighbor's wife, all of these other different various laws is it just those ten no the commandments of the lord involve his statutes his judgments all of that and the most high told us that from generation to generation we're supposed to keep them so we're going to bring that out uh first off we're going to go to mark chapter 7 and verse 6 to prove that this is that christian church man that you're attending hopefully not anymore but a lot of our brothers and sisters are out here attending. Okay, so we're going to go to Mark chapter 7 and verse 6. Mark 7 and 6 says, He answered and said unto them, Well hath Esaias prophesied of you hypocrites. Okay, now if that ain't the Christian church, I don't know what it is, but we're going to get some more on it. As it is written, This people honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. All right, this is Christ speaking. This is written in red. And Christ is bringing out what Isaiah said 
Okay, as it is written, this people honors me with their lips. All right, but this is what the Lord said. The people talking about Israel, his chosen people honor him with his lips. Talking about so-called blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. They honor him with their lips in the Christian church, in the Muslim mosque, in the Santeria, in the uh, Catholic church. Okay, but what it says, this people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. How be it in vain do they worship me? Okay, so you're worshiping the Lord for nothing in that Christian church. Teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Okay, teaching what that white man teaches you. That it's alright to break the law, statutes, and commandments of the Lord, man. That it's alright to have you a statue up in your church. That it's alright to bow down and pray on an altar that's been cut and, and man, all this other madness. Alright? The Lord brought it out, okay, and he's showing them that in vain you are worshiping the Lord, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. For laying aside the commandment of God, you hold the tradition of men. And this is that commandment of the, of the Lord, what Moses brought out to us way back coming out of Egypt, man. All right. For laying aside the commandment of God, you hold the tradition of men as the washing of cup pots and cups and many other such like things you do okay which is not just you know don't steal don't do this but our traditions just like what you see us wear man our our garments and what we the traditions all right that that moses taught the children of israel that came straight from the most high on how we supposed to look on how we supposed to conduct our women and our children and all that Okay, so it's not just those Ten Commandments, all right? Laying aside the commandment of God, you hold the tradition of men as the washing of pots and cups and many other such like things you do, okay? And ye said unto them, full well ye reject the commandment of God that you may keep your own tradition. And that's what goes on in the Christian church, brothers and sisters. You reject the commandments of God so that you can keep your own tradition, man. So that you can marry a lesbian in the church. So that you can get two homosexuals and marry them in the church. So that you can molest little boys in the church, man. All right? Saying that it's grace, okay? It's disgusting is what it is. All right? We're going to get some more on this. All right? We're going to go to... Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 2 to bring out some more on this commandment, okay? Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 2 says, You shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall you diminish aught from it, that ye may keep the commandments of the Most High your God which I command you. This is Moses talking, and these are the commandments that is talked about, all right? In, in 1 John, if you love the Lord, keep his commandments. Moses gave these to a nation of people, man, and they were to keep it from generation to generation to pass from their kids. You read the rest of this chapter 4 in Deuteronomy, you'll see exactly what the Lord is bringing out, okay? I want to get uh, another scripture on this. Let's go from here and get... Let's get Luke chapter 5 and verse 12. Just bring out one more scripture on Christ talking, telling us, okay, exactly what to do. Luke chapter 5 and verse 12 says, And it came to pass when he was a, when he was in a certain city, behold, a man full of leprosy, who seeing Yahawashai fell on his face and besought him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou can make me clean. And he put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will be thou clean. And immediately the, the, the leprosy departed from him. And he charged him to tell no man, but go show himself, go show thyself to the priest and offer for thy cleansing, according as Moses commanded for a testimony unto them. OK, so even Christ kept those commandments that Moses, Christ kept the Passover. OK, Christ kept the Sabbath. OK, Christ is telling this man to go and get the same cleansing that Moses talked about in those statutes, which is not in the Ten Commandments. All right. That he gave him in the statutes and the judgments on how we were supposed to be and how we were supposed to do when we got clean and if we were unclean. OK, so there's much more on this. We got free classes Monday through Friday. We got classes in Broward. We got classes all over the United States. All right. Come out, learn your heritage, learn these laws, statutes, and commandments, and change your life. Remember to pay your tithes. It is a commandment. All right. Also, remember to check out the Commanding General Yohanna on the radio show every Monday night from 9 to 11 p.m. All right. And with that, I'd like to say Shalom, Israel. One, two, one, two. 
This is not necessarily for publication. This one here is rated R. Restricted. The reason it's rated R because what we about to bring out is an offense to the entire world. But that's not new because to bring out the gospel and the truth about Christ is to offend the entire world. The church system as we know it today is a farce and a lie. Islam as we know it today is a farce and a lie. These things have nothing to do with Christ, nothing to do with the king of the Jews, nothing to do with Israel, nothing to do with God, nothing to do with the Savior. 